It was the first APS school game and their year 12 year and we'd been looking forward to it. When it happened, I think for both of us, it was just shock. Obviously, to watch it all unfold was absolutely devastating. My sister's boyfriend said, did you hear about Max King? And I said, no, what's happened? And um, I thought that they were going to say he played, he played well and he's done this and done that, as he does, kicks eight and... They go, no, he's come down on his knee. Max King's injury is as serious as everyone feared. His draft year is over. The football world draws a line through his name for the number one pick. Growing up with a twin, um, you, can't, you kind of grow up with, with your best mate, in a sense. So, um, yeah, it's never easy seeing, seeing him get injured like that. In the days that follow, Max has extensive overnight surgery on his knee. Max is meeting with his surgeon to find out how the surgery went. The results will have huge implications for Max's draft standing and even his football career. Given the severity of Max's injury, full recovery is not a guarantee. What are we up to now? Six weeks? Yeah, six since weeks. surgery. Looks good. A lot of wasting of the muscles there, which is quite normal. Max suffered an injury where his knee was pushed inwards and so that's what tore his medial ligament. It kept pushing and that's what tore his ACL and his lateral meniscus. So it was quite a significant injury. He had three major aspects of the knee were involved. Therefore, it will be a significant recovery. From what I saw today, things are going very well already. It'll be tough for him, but he'll get stronger and stronger mentally and physically. I think he's quite a resilient young man. I try not to think about the injury as much as I can, but I do think about it like I would flash back to it most days and just think about the day and the lead up and what happened. And yeah, I'm trying not to think about it as much as I can and trying to stay positive, but the reality is it does go through my head sometimes. Mentally, I've tried to stay as positive as I can, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have some dark days, but I'm lucky enough to have a great support network who, who are going to help me through it, so, um, yeah, I think I'll be all right. Ben was in the forward line too, so he saw it all unfold, and the reality that that might be the last time we play together is pretty confronting and um, sort of hard to come to terms with because that's really all I know. Um, I'd only just learnt later that Max said his number one response was that he wouldn't play with his brother again, and that got me, yeah. That really did get me. Maybe we'll play together again one day and, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. As Max commences his rehab, Ben and Jack train for Vic Metro, the representative team made up of the most talented juniors in Metropolitan Melbourne. They're preparing to take on Sam Walsh in the upcoming Vic Metro versus Vic Country grudge match. The game is another crucial piece in the draft puzzle for recruiters. It will see friends and teammates thrown into competition. With Max out of the team, Ben has been swung from fullback to full forward. Jack has been struggling with a back complaint. He's cleared to play, though he's starting on the interchange and will need to find form. star continues to rise. Ben King kicks two impressive goals from full forward. Halaby College boy, 
kicks from 45. Nate goes straight over the goal umpire's head. A spearing kick to King inside 50. Ben King from 55 metres out. What a finish! Contested ball footy, outnumbering him at the contest. Jack Bytel's back is affecting him, though he pushes through. But then... Another injury. Some ice being applied to that right elbow for Jack Bytel. Jack fears his elbow may be broken. Jack will be sent for scans and has a nervous wait ahead. Due to injury, he has already started to slide in a prospective draft order. He had hoped to make up ground at the approaching NAB AFL draft combine, though now that might not be possible. For Ben King and Sam Walsh, strong on-field performances only enhance their draft credentials. And for Max, despite his unwavering dedication, the future remains uncertain.